Sorry, y'all. No sooner did I turn. Hey y'all, no sooner that I turned that off that I saw the police show up. So here, I'm just gonna come over here and get it on film. Sir, can I get you to identify yourself, please? With you. No worries. Had to switch to another channel. There's more stuff going on <laughs> No worries. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm except for people off from Liberty Lake PD. They just asked me to okay. come over and make sure there were right. things weren't getting out of hand. No, no, I appreciate it. I uh, let you know I you are on camera here. Okay. Uh, obviously but just to let you know so what's going on today so i just came over to film the checkpoint here uh it seems like a violation of our fourth amendment making forcing people to stop and i just came to film it and so when i was here there was a boat that came up and i was filming them just check the boat and everything and then he, you know the guy went in i didn't ask him anything there was no problem so i see him going to the office over here and i've just been taking footage but i did have some questions to ask him i'm doing okay. this collecting information so i just went up to go inside the building i didn't see anything that said keep out no you know that i can't go in there so as i started to go in the the lady that she was cleaning out the bathroom and she she came out she told me i couldn't go in there and so i was respectful I didn't even try to go in after that i just i asked her why and i asked her who she was that she didn't have any you know i said you don't have any identification that you have some authority authority to keep me out nobody has identified is it, is it like themselves. a regular office building i i've they didn't know that they were operating this well that's here. it has a police it says washington uh, department of fish and wildlife police okay. and i saw the guy go in there so that's and i like i said it doesn't say that i couldn't go in and it used to be open to the public right i think it's the their their new substation yeah, the, and, type thing yeah she explained that to me so i was respectful and didn't go in but then i just asked her my question about this being a violation of the fourth amendment and you know she was trying to explain and so i asked her she was explaining about the invasive species and i said well i understand that but i'm asking about this checkpoint being a make making us pull over and stop and she you know then she went back to the other thing and then she just started kind of being combative and then the other guy came out and told me i was harassing her when she was the one that approached me so okay. i i i mean i've been calm i've been respectful to every they asked me to leave i mean this public area i don't feel like i should have to leave but i just at least went over there and waited for you i didn't want to you know I'm, i wasn't doing anything wrong so i didn't cause so um any problems or anything is it is it because they don't want to be filmed is that there is well he said he didn't want to be filmed but he doesn't have a choice he's a public servant right. and, he, and he interacted with me so um, and then he wanted then that, i guess that's i would like i they asked me to leave and they haven't identified themselves as state i mean he said she's she's a state employee but none of them will identify themselves so i'd like to file a complaint but i have no recourse to file that because they won't identify themselves so if maybe i if think you you'd have to go through washington this is the deputy that's, that's assigned fine. to this. That's area. fine, that's fine. I think you'd have to go through the, the Fish and Wildlife Department. And I know they have a sergeant 
that oversees this stuff. But my problem is if I call him, he's going to give me the run. Well, I don't know who was working that day. And Just they're here. In. You know, most, most agencies, if you're going to file a complaint, they require you to do it in writing. Well, and that's fine, but they're here. Office and, and, and do it in writing then. And well, but how am I, how am I supposed Deputy to? Audi. This is Hi, Deputy area. Audi. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, but how? I guess my question is, how am I supposed to file a complaint when they won't identify them? And it seems when they won't well, identify themselves. I think they themselves. would be able to tell you who's working here today. But I should I shouldn't have to call them or go down there just to get that. I should be able to just go to my house and write a letter or write something in writing, maybe download a form and all that. But now I have to just to file a complaint about these people who won't identify themselves. I have to go down to their office, fill out a form, ask maybe, them who was maybe working. Maybe do it online or. But I mean, it just seems like as law enforcement, if they're if they're keeping a, a citizen out of a building that appears to be open to the public, doesn't have anything keeping me out. I've been respectful staying out, but they, you know, they and then they just go hide in there. They tell me I can't go in there, and then when I ask them to identify themselves, they go hide away and say we're calling nine one one. I said, well, it's not an emergency. I just identify yourself. So. I mean, as law enforcement, can't you guys maybe say, well, if you guys are state employees, it would be at least respectful of this guy who pays your helps pay your salary through his taxes to identify yourselves, especially when you're violating hey, our Fourth Amendment rights. I just got an email on this place and got their sergeant's phone number. I can give her a call. I, I, that, I mean, that would be that would be great. This is now belongs to Fish and Wildlife, okay. State Fish and Wildlife, and they operate their their check station here for the boats. So up on. When you cross the border coming out of Idaho, okay. on that where the truck semis usually sit, there's a sign that says all boats must stop coming in. To the oh, okay. okay. So they're, they're doing, boat, boat they're doing the invasive yeah. species yeah. and zebra mussel stuff and and all that stuff. So I always wanted to wear this dog park. <laughs> 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 right. Last week is when I saw they, this. Design. Yeah, they changed. It. They used to be at the way station last right. week, so, and they changed uh, it here. So. I know one of our nighttime guys had an interaction with their guys here and said, hey, if you got any problems, this is the sergeant's number. I'll go see if I can find it. Perfect. That would be great. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sorry you guys had to come out. Seems kind of pointless for you guys to have to come out for this, but appreciate it. We don't know what's going on in Florida. I understand that. Unfortunately, just overreaction. Hey, I'm sorry, can I get your name again? Deputy Audi. Deputy Audi. Audi? All right, thanks. Hey, I appreciate your professionalism. You're, you guys uh, live stream to the internet right now. I just, people are watching. I want to appreciate good police officers, so I want to point that out. So I appreciate your professionalism here and helping me out. No, I'm not detained. I'm waiting. They're making a phone call trying to find out some information for me.
<laughs> Randall. That's pretty funny. So just to give an update everybody, everything's good here. Uh, the workers here, the fish and wildlife workers uh, just called the police. They were concerned about me. These guys have been great. So they're just trying to get a phone number for me so I can figure out who's who's working here. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect. So they got She's a little bit. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay. Okay, I appreciate that. Thanks All for right. getting a hold of her. I appreciate it. So, so what I got to ask you, what, what do you... What, what's the issue with the boat things that you're working well, here? Well, I, I mean, I'm, I'm an outdoorsman, so I have no problem with trying to keep invasive species right. out. I have a problem with boaters being being mandatory in the state of Washington to stop, and if we're if we do stop, be being required to submit to a search of our vessel. Okay. And without any due process, without any, there's no suspicion of a crime, which the crime is transporting the invasive species. So they're stopping everybody, whether the, whether we're suspected or not. Okay. And so then, unfortunately, that's where if if I if I'm bringing even my kayak, a boat, even if I go down here and float the river and then pull it out right here just with a little inner tube, I'm required to stop here. Right. And then if I don't answer their questions, then you guys get called out to deal with me <laughs> because I'm breaking a law. I'm not sure how that works like if we were like a criminal. I mean, accor according to the RCW, you can be. They can, because it's, according to the RCW, I'm, it's a second degree, I'm breaking the law in the second degree to, if I don't, if I don't allow them to inspect my wild, boat. I'm officially wild Failure to stop it. Yeah, I have it's RCW. I had it. I must have put it in my back. But yeah, I have it printed out here. Uh, but yeah, if you, it's mandatory to stop and it's mandatory to submit to the inspection. And if you don't, they can write you a ticket for violating the Aqu Washington Aquatic Invasive Species Prevention Act. You drive past it, radio forward, and I I don't. This is the first time it's been in Washington, to my knowledge. So I I, I haven't experienced yet. But I live in Idaho, so I, mean, I, I run into them all the time. Yeah, well, and in Idaho, they, I know, so if you go past it, they'll call the police and the police will pull you over. But even then, they can't really do anything unless they actually see the muscles or some something on the boat. Right. I can tell you and right now, I don't make an arrest for muscles. <laughs> I should hope that. No, I don't think it's an arrestable offense or anything no, like that. <laughs> So, well, I know, I don't think it's the Washington Department of, their law enforcement branch that does that, the oh, okay. Department yeah. of Fish and Wildlife, because the RCW refers always to the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, so. Um, Title 77 something. I know 77, I, I think it's. When you, like the big game check stations. Yeah. And if you drive past them without stopping, then they come chase you down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but like in Idaho, there's nothing that, so if I stopped at one, there's nothing that requires me to actually answer any questions. That's the difference in, in Washington, excuse me, in Idaho, you're not required. In Washington, the RCW says I'm actually required to I submit to that. Because, you know, I have a little 17 foot boat that I fish these lakes around here with. And they say, every boat's gotta stop. And then I'm like, do I gotta stop every time <laughs> that I get out on the road with a boat? Right. And go past one, to, then I gotta stop again. Yeah. And then come back and then there's another one that I got stopped again. You know, but now they give those when you register the boat, they give you the invasive species sticker. The little sticker, yeah. So, I've only stopped at one this year. So. Uh, <laughs> so um Sergeant Taylor's the gal's name and Okay. She'll be here directly. Alright. Well I appreciate you calling her if uh 
if she doesn't show up or something comes up, whatever, I can stop in Liberty Lake there and say hi. Hey, get the get her number from you, I guess. You know, she's, she said that she wants to talk to you. Okay, excellent. She'll be here. Perfect. All right, thank you for your help. I appreciate it. She said you'd be waiting at the picnic table. I mean, All right, yeah. I told her that we'd, you'd be waiting at the okay, picnic table. Okay, perfect. And can I get your name just for the record? It's right there. Yeah, keep painter. painter. Thank, all right, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for your professionalism. No problem. Hey. Subscriber. <laughs> What's that? Subscriber. <laughs> oh, you are? Yeah, I watch uh, your live feed. My Dennis, by the way. Dennis, all right. I watch your live feed. I'm only like 10 minutes away. Oh, right I'm on. Gas anyway. I'll run up there real quick. <laughs> right on, man. I appreciate it. That's awesome. I thought, well, shit, I got to go and stay so there. Right, I didn't even see that. There we go. Yeah, so that's pretty. Yeah, they freaked out. Did you see that when they freaked out originally? You know what? I cut your live feed just after that. All right. But I guess it went up the thing here at the window and they freaked out. Well, yeah, the, I was doing one and I just followed the guy in and just right. wanted to ask him a couple of questions. Oh, you mean one of the uh, fishing game people? Yeah, the guy in the yellow vest there. And it doesn't say anything on the sign, like stay out or anything on the right, door. Right, so right, I just right. said, and the lady across here was cleaning the bathroom. She says, oh, well, you have to... Uh, she said, you can't go in there. So I said, well, there's no sign. And then I noticed she's just some plain. Something? Yeah. Oh, I don't know what really got going in there. Uh, it's just their little, it's just their little headquarters now. Like, I don't even know when they opened up this new entrance. I saw they opened yeah. up the Yeah. Yeah, they just did that this weekend. Because oh. last week, this stop it was, was down there. there. Yeah. yeah it's always been up there. So they just opened it up here. And yeah, so it's when she approached me, I just said, well, who, you know, you're just in plain clothes. What right, authority right. do you have? And she's, well, you know, I took off my clothes, I'm cleaning the bathroom. Okay, well, so they still haven't identified themselves, and they just kept running back in the office. So then I was ready to go, and then I saw he pulled up here, the Liberty Lake guy. So <laughs> True back. But they're, they've been nice. They haven't had a problem. And he called the sergeant who's in charge, so she's coming down to charge up, what, this? these guys. Because they want to identify themselves. I said, well, I want to file a complaint. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I don't... If they identify themselves, okay, that's one thing. But if they're not going to identify themselves, I don't like that. So, so yeah, we're getting, we're trying to figure out. We're going to bring a boat through one of these times. But like I said, the law is really. It's we're, it's vague for me. I've got a little fishing pond here. Yeah, yeah. Just a little single seat with a trolling motor. Yeah. And I never know if I got to stop in here. I mean, well, it's not it's not registered, it's not licensed. It yeah. Need any of that stuff? It's just a flotation device. Yeah. But yeah. I see that they're required. Well, when you look up the RCW here too, it says that any any water conveyance. Yeah. So I mean, that could be your like here, like I was talking. So that's how many people drop in right here right, right, right. to float down the river. Right, right, right. And how many of them come out with something, even right, if there's right. one inner tube in their boat or whatever, you yeah. know? All those people now have to stop here, and they have. There's law enforcement officer here. You know, there's going to be one on weekends. <laughs> You're gonna be hemming people up for all sorts of stuff. So, Let's see what's going on here. Sorry, guys, I didn't pay attention. You guys been commenting. <laughs> Still got a bunch of people out here. So, just to give everybody an update, uh, the uh, detective here from Liberty Lake. I forgot his name already. I'll have to get it later. Uh, he called the sergeant who's in charge of this station here, and she is on her way, so she should be here pretty soon. I might run out of battery before she gets here with the live feed, but I'll just keep it going since you guys are on now. Well, hopefully that'll be available pretty soon, Queen's Heart. I, I appreciate that, though. <laughs> What's your name on you? Dennis Boom. Dennis? Yeah. On I'm YouTube, too? Spread. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, no, not on YouTube. Uh, Joe Blow. Joe Blow. I just oh, okay. It, I just pulled it out of the air one day. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I had to create a channel. To, to yeah, yeah, to yeah. Contest, so I just created a, you know, what am I going to call myself? Joe Blow. I don't create any content. I just yeah. kind of wanted to do this. Well, if you ever want to, let us know, man. We'll go out with you. Yeah, I've never I've never done it. I never uh, really have an opportunity. I never have encounters not too often. Yeah. When they do, they never usually do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> So, so anyway, I just want to tell, every, tell everyone thanks for uh, watching. We have a subscriber, Joe Blow, that saw I was on, and he came down to just back me up. So, so I appreciate that. So everybody give a shout-out to Joe, Joe Blow. <laughs> so, yeah, and that's, like I said, that's my other thing. Is I don't have a problem with the 
preventing all that stuff. It sounds like you're a sportsman. You don't want to like crap no, messing no, no, with no. the water, but at the same time, I don't feel like this is effective. Like I even told the lady, I said, <laughs> you can go to Trent, which is like a yeah. mile north here and avoid the whole thing. And a week ago, you could exit right here and go that way. Well, they, they've here. got one right at, uh, right at the Washington State border. Is, it, is that the one going into Idaho though? Or is that going into Idaho. It's right there right. at the border. So I don't know. I think it's in Idaho. Right? Yeah. Well, cause when I asked her, she said, she said, well, it's the honor system. So again, you're willing to violate our, and that's what I said. So the only people that are going to stop here are people that are abiding by the law. <laughs> just, I always kind of wonder what would happen if you just drove by. What are they going to do? Send lights and sirens after you? Well, supposedly, you know I mean? yeah. That's so the um, they aren't very. That's why I want to talk to someone because they aren't very clear. The RCW isn't very clear on that. But in yeah. Idaho, I've asked them, and they said, yeah, if you pass us, we'll no kidding. We'll call it in, and that's why that one right there on Trent, Trent you were talking about. They yeah. usually actually have an Idaho State Patrol guy right there, mm. especially on like busy weekends. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, and the other thing I saw there's a. I think they're requiring life life vests now to float. Like it's ridiculous. Which I mean, would be pretty crazy to get in there right now and yeah, not yeah, put a life vest on. But I brought it up to uh, Washington State Fish and Game one time, so I had my little flotation. Yeah. Out. Really like. Oh I, yeah. I go out there bass fishing. All right. Get my boat up back on my uh, truck and Washington State Fish and Game stop me and ask me if I got a life vest. I go yeah. Um, I said, it's really ridiculous, it's July or whatever. Yeah. Well, you have to have one. I said, let me get this ride. I, I could walk up this boat launch. I could swim <laughs> from one end of this lake to the other. But right. if I'm out on a boat, I got to have a life vest. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's <laughs> right. Yep. Well, anyway. Hey, thanks nice for coming you. down. I appreciate it. Yeah, nice to meet you, Dennis. Here, let me get it out of my bag real quick. Just give me a second. Yeah, 135, 120. So yeah, I've got the uh, 120. 120 establishes it, and it says uh, aquatic conveyance is required to stop at checkpoint stations. Include registered vessels, commercial right. vessels, small vessels. But the person who encounters a mandatory checkpoint station while transporting an aquatic conveyance must stop at the mandatory check station, allow aquatic conveyance to be inspected for clean and drain requirements and aquatic invasive, spe invasive species. Follow clean and drain orders. Blah blah blah. Then if you go to the, so the pen, this is where it talks about the penalty. A person, unlawful use of invasive species in the second degree, the penalty. That's if you have the stuff? Well, this like says. If you, got, if you got the muscles on your boat or something like that? Well, part of it is that, but the first part says a person is guilty of unlawful use of invasive species in the second degree if the person fails to stop at a mandatory check station or to return to the mandatory check station for inspection if directed to do so by fish and wildlife officer or ex officio wildlife officer. So is that, is that, does it say that's criminal or civil? It says it is, it's a, go down here. Buh, 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 buh. It says if you comply, you're exempt from criminal penalties. But see, that's where I couldn't find anything on what the actual penalty was. But yeah. it says if you comply with those directives, you're exempt from criminal penalties. So that it makes me believe if you don't comply, it is a criminal, criminal penalty. Look at this, this is so confusing. You guys can't even figure it out either. <laughs> 620? Yeah, if they're up to 135 on it. So, so 
one to 620 says the department is authorized to require fish hunters, fishers occupying motor vehicles approaching or entering a check station to stop and produce for inspection. Any wildlife fish, shellfish, blah, 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 seaweed, um, tag stamps, catch records. For these purposes, the department is authorized to operate check stations which shall plainly be marked by signs. Operated by at least one uniform fish and wildlife officer and operated in itself in a safe manner. That's kind of vague. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't say it's criminal or civil. That's yeah. Yeah, the only thing I can see about it is it says, like I said, you're exempt from the criminal penalty if you comply. But it doesn't say what any criminal penalty is. about unlawful avoidance of uh, check stations. Let's see what that one says. Right. So 77 15 470 says a person is guilty of, of unlawfully avoiding wildlife check stations or field inspections if the person fails to obey this check station sign, stop and report if directed to do so by a uniformed fish and wildlife officer or an ex officio and wildlife officer participating in a department authorized check station, produce for inspection upon request by a fish and wildlife officer ex official fish and wildlife officer, hunting and fishing equipment, seaweed, shellfish, license bags, permits, blah, 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 blah. It says unlawfully avoiding the check station or field inspection is a gross misdemeanor. So, so that's the only penalty All right, that's right the only there, penalty you can see, a gross misdemeanor. misdemeanor. Okay. This, my bad book says uh, $1,000 criminal citation. All right, so up to a thousand dollars. So, and this is this is 2015-2016. Okay. So Washington, you can post. Uh, that says gross misdemeanor, a thousand dollars. Doesn't say mandatory court. It just says penalty, a thousand dollars. Gross misdemeanor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't put a bail on it either. I'd just cite him in the court. Yeah. So I wouldn't know. Well, hey, I appreciate you looking that up for me. Yeah, I mean, you got it written down? No, but I got it recorded here. Okay, four, <laughs> 470. 470? All right. You know, the last thing it says is check stations may not be established on interstate highways or state routes that's probably why they moved it yeah it must be huh that's interesting yeah that must be why they moved it okay i was huh. thought it was kind of a bizarre place because <laughs> really how much boat traffic do they get coming across there yeah you get much more up on wellesley up there with trent yeah up on trent coming route, from priest on trent yeah and they can't have one there <laughs> interesting so imagine they're not too busy with <laughs> There's only been two that I've seen so far today. Interesting. I'd kind of like to hear what Sergeant Taylor has to say too. So. Yeah. <laughs> in uniform over there? No, nah, I mean, there's I a guy that's a wearing an orange vest. 
the only the, the only guy I didn't talk to was the guy in the orange vest. Kind of stocky guy. Nah, he was the guy I talked to. He told me I was harassing him. Um, but the other guy, I didn't really approach. He was the guy that I saw go into the office, and I thought, oh, I'll go see if I can talk to him. Looks like some antennas coming right here. Oh, yeah. That would probably be her. Yep, looks to be. All right. I'll let you go talk to her, man. <laughs> Thanks. I caused it, huh? <laughs> I'm okay. How are you? Good. Why don't you break right there for a minute? For a minute. Okay. <laughs> Issuing orders already. Very friendly. It's nice. The Liberty Lake detective wanted me to come talk to her, but she told me to come talk to him. So here comes wait. So I'm just being nice. Yeah, it's a pretty slow day, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> oh Randall yeah so hopefully I don't lose the live feed here I might we'll see so she wanted to go talk to them first no beefy I'm not uh, being charged with anything uh, they came out these police came out they don't have any problem with me I've been having a nice conversation with them they helped me look up parts of the law actually uh, we're just waiting to talk to this lady who just came out. She's the representative here from the state Fish and Wildlife. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't look very happy, so. Anyways. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll stay calm. How are you doing? Well, do you still have your business card? Uh, I don't have it on me right now, no. Oh, because, yeah, one of our guys talked to you before. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Chat. All right. Uh, so, obviously, you're being recorded. Uh, it's being live streamed on the internet as well. Um, I guess, first of all, I just have an issue with, I don't know who's working here, uh, but I was just taking some film. One of the guys came out to check, so I was just recording that. And then when they, he went back in, I had a couple of questions, but I was just getting some footage, so I didn't want what to talk to him. Um, I didn't give it. So, what was your name? I didn't give it. I, would I said, like to know who I'm "Well, to. that's fine," but I'm not comfortable giving it at this point because of how I've how I've been treated. Okay. I give out my name if I'm comfortable with how I've been treated, and as a citizen, I'm not required to give out my name. So, um, I'm trying to explain what happened. If you'd like to listen, I can do that. What? Okay. So when I came back in. I just wanted to ask him a question. Sure. I came back through between the buildings here and I started to push on the door and this lady here was cleaning up the bathroom and she said, oh, you can't go in there. And so I just, okay, I was respectful. I didn't even try to go in after that. But I asked her what authority she had because she was just in plain clothes, wasn't going to have any identifying factors telling me she was an employee of the state or anything. So I asked her what authority she had. She explained to me she took off her clothes because she was cleaning the bathroom. So, okay, I accept that as whatever so i started asking her she said i said well i just wanted to ask them some questions about that so she said oh well i'm the person to talk to about that i'm one of those people so i asked her a question about it being a violation of our fourth amendment and she started to explain how about the aquatic species and i so i let her explain and then i said that's fine i understand that but this is you didn't address how this check station and requiring us to stop here is a violation of our fourth amendment and so then the the guy came out and he kind of started talking to me too he had a problem with being on camera and i explained to him that he's a public he's a public official so he doesn't really have a choice if i'm interacting with him and he chose to interact with me uh, but then he told me that i was harassing the other employee when she's the one that approached me and initiated all the contact so what questions did you have well my question is first of all none of them once i they started to tell me then the guy told me i had to leave so there, yeah. there's pe two people now that claim to have some sort of authority to tell me that in a public place I have to leave. The not, office, can you office, hear me out, please? The office building is I never, not a you are not hearing me out. Place. I never went into the, you, you will you I, please? I, I want to explain to you our facility. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm an adult okay. and I know how that works. And I never went into the building. I already said that, okay? So I'm explaining to you how these people are trying to have authority over me and they haven't identified themselves as any 
employees well, to be able to... you just told me that she told you that she was... Yeah, so she to... said, but Joe Blow over there could tell me he's a fish wildlife employee too. If he's in plain, rest, she was cleaning the restroom. She's so in plain clothes. She so, was cleaning the restroom. But, but when she, so she, ma'am, can, so do you want to listen to my complaint or well, do you just... To explain to you. But ma'am, you haven't even heard my complaint because okay. what I'm saying I'm, is, I'm so What's she's cleaning the bathroom. Does a janitor of a bathroom have authority to tell me? So first, uh, first of all, I didn't go in there because once she told me not to, that I wasn't allowed, mm -hmm. even though I pointed out that there was no signs keeping the public out of a public building, sure. I said, okay, I will respect that and not go in. So I didn't even attempt to go in after that. They all, once the guy came out and approached me and told me I was harassing her when she's the one that approached me, then I asked them to identify themselves. They all scurry inside that building. Nobody will identify themselves. So I've got a guy that's wearing a t-shirt and a hat that anyone can buy, anyone can buy an orange vest, anyone can buy anything that they're wearing in there and they pretend, have an, they have employee ID. so pretend to tell me that. So nobody presented an employee ID tag, they all, they all just ran and hid and told me that it was an emergency, they were gonna call 911. So they told me, they escalated the situation, not me. And then they said I was the problem, that I was harassing and I was causing a scene. Then when I asked the public officials, who suppose they're the ones that work there and have authority to identify themselves, so I would at least say, oh, I've seen your ID card, or I can see that now, and I understand you do work here, and I have, their word is nothing to me. Okay. I pay for this building with my taxes, I pay for their salaries. And so to have them not identify themselves and tell me I'm not allowed in this public building and scurry in there, it's very suspicious to me because they're acting like public officials, but they want to identify themselves. And I know a public official is supposed to identify themselves if asked when interacting with the public. It's part of how you prove you're a public official. So they're not willing to do that. It's very suspicious. So I actually started then thinking I need to call some police or somebody here to identify these people. So that's why you got called in was because when they came, I, I just said, I need to figure out how to identify them because I need to file a complaint about how I was treated and that they didn't identify themselves. Okay. So that's why you were called in was because I wanted to file a complaint and I want to identify who they are. Okay. Well, can I explain to you this facility? Yeah, you can explain. I mean, I'm, yes. yeah. The restrooms are open to the public. The office is not. Okay. And if you'll note on the door, it says employees only. On the door over here. Yeah. And I didn't, as I said, I never attempted to and go when, in. Once when she... a female is cleaning the male's restroom, you know, I would expect them to not want males to come in and use that while and I didn't. the facility. And so. I didn't. Did I say I went into a building? You have a camera up there? You, you can pull you up tried. all the... You told me you tried. I, so I tried to push in the door Do that didn't say... Yeah. No, you can go. Okay. That didn't right. say... It, there, was no, there was no sign that said no public admittance. Okay. The door over here, yes, says employees only. I never attempted it. I saw the guy go in there. I looked. I videoed it. It says nowhere on that door. It even has a sign that says Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Police. Right. Most police stations have a public lobby that you can go into. That's not a police station. Okay. Will you please stop interrupting me? You have no authority over here. We're done. Okay, can I get your name for the record, please? So that's how you're treated. So um, when you're public officials, when you pay their tax dollars, that's how you're treated when you start to ask questions and try to file a complaint. They don't want to listen. They want to argue. So... I guess I'm going to have to go down to the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife office because she doesn't want to ID. She doesn't want to tell me their names. She's trying to explain to me how I can't go in a building. I'm not asking to go in a building. I'm asking what their names are because I was mistreated. And she's concentrated. See, these, these police, these law enforcement officials like her, these other guys were great. They came out. They were helpful. They were very good. But her, she's not interested in helping and coming to a resolution. She's here to exert her authority over me. So when she exerts her authority over me, she tells me, you have to listen. You can't go in that building. You can't go there. I told her I tried, and once I was told not to, I stopped. She's also got a illegally marked car here. She's can't get her license plates because her license plate is blocked. I mean, that doesn't seem right. We got a sheriff here. I'm going to talk to them about that. Unmarked vehicle, of course. License plate. This is Sergeant Taylor, her name is. I do remember that now. 27770E, exempt. Washington exempt. 
She is a Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife employee, a uh, law enforcement official. Sergeant Taylor is her name with the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. I was told she's the sergeant in charge of this station here. So just for the record, we'll go back over here and show that there is no sign over here. Here we go. Employees only on that door, on this door. No employees only, no signage anywhere other than to say Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife Police. Oh, yeah, she got a blocked plate in front too, so we got a record of that. So there's the number if y'all want to call, file a complaint against Sergeant Taylor. Uh, she didn't want to hear my complaint, she wanted to tell me how things are supposed to go instead of listen to my complaint. So there goes the sheriffs there. So again, everybody, um, let's go ahead and, yeah, definitely human error. Uh, go ahead and call the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. Sergeant Taylor is her name. R refused to take my complaint. So thanks up, wake up, thanks. All right, I'm gonna keep getting her vehicle because it's illegal as well. She's got the front plates here. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna ask about the block plate, don't worry. Didn't like it when I didn't identify myself either. Yeah, welcome from the Netherlands. We got some sun finally coming out. Hey, Sergeant Taylor, I just wanted to point out your front plate is blocked as well. Yeah. But didn't we meet in the post office park? We did, a we did. Back? <laughs> we did. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I appreciate your professionalism. All right, man. Take care. You guys have always been great over at Liberty Lake PD. We appreciate you, okay? Thanks yeah. for your help. How'd it go? Not very good. She didn't want to listen. She didn't want to hear my complaint. She just wanted to tell me how I couldn't go in the building. And I said, well, I wasn't trying well, to know, go. She asked me, she said, what do you think I should do? And I said, I think you should just tell your employees to smile for the camera. Get about the business. Hey, as long as he doesn't interfere with it, if he's sitting out in the parking lot. I mean, what's the difference between you doing it and the press doing it? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Sitting out on the street, they film us at our traffic accidents all the time. Yeah, yeah. So just ignore it and do your, what you're supposed to do. Hey, one hundred. You know, and if everybody did that, people would stop doing this too. <laughs> See you around. Thanks. Have a good day. So there you go, y'all. That's how it's supposed to work. So that's a good police officer. He even helped me look up the law. <laughs> well, he's got a good chief where he is. So I'll definitely make sure to thank him. So anyways, 
nobody wanted to talk like i said everybody make sure you call republic can you throw that phone number up there one more time yes he was very professional he was very awesome these guys are not not good <laughs> thanks randall hopefully you appreciate it i'm not sure if that's good or bad <laughs> uh all right everyone well i gotta uh, head out so i'm gonna take off you guys have a safe day uh, i'm gonna be editing some video together for this and putting up a full report later so check that out probably be another uh day or so yeah you're right city one i agree 100 so anyways again republic's throwing that number up there it's sergeant taylor go ahead and call that uh nobody would identify themselves here except for her and she did not want to hear my complaints so thanks everybody have an excellent day thanks for tuning in